This is Carl. Uh, behind me is my short bus, which is also my house. He travels a lot. Up next, a drive across the country. Carl likes to cook in his bus to save time and money. It's <laughs> fish, refried beans, and green olives. And when he crisscrosses the country's toll roads, well, it's gotten harder as states for place toll collectors with all electronic tolling. What is it with that? It's like a new piece of technology comes out and it's supposed to make life easier or like more convenient. And then they completely take away an old system so that I'm now forced to get this new thing. He breezes across highways in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic thanks to his easy pass. His toll charges come right out of his bank account. But it's a not so easy pass when Carl drives through a different toll system, which is pretty frequent with 357 toll roads, bridges, and tunnels in America, operated by more than 130 different toll agencies across 34 different states. Because each toll pass works in some states, but not others. And some toll roads won't even take your cash anymore, which can lead to surprise bills when you return from that road trip. Or in Carl's case. I definitely used to have my license plate in an inconspicuous spot and Maybe it'll go back there. NBCLX does not endorse hiding your license plate while going through toll plazas. The interstate highway system, a 41,000 mile network of our most important roads. In some ways, we used to be better connected before our highways were tolled. Nowadays, I personally don't like to complain a lot, but juggling all these transponders for the toll roads sucks. Why can't it just be one toll? Well, now we're in Illinois. So we paid Ohio, we paid Indiana, and now we're gonna pay Illinois. <laughs> exact cherry juice. <cheers. laughs> Heather's having an anxiety attack in the toll. I was going through a toll, and you have two things you can do in Virginia. Have an easy pass, or have coins. There are frustrations with tolls coast to coast. Why do we need multiple passes just to cross into different regions? We shouldn't have to. Congress passed a law nearly a decade ago to fix this. Since you told me you drove from Maine to Florida. Not quite, not quite Maine, but to Boston all the way. Darn near close, just step across the way. But you will be able to go down 95 from uh, Maine to Florida uh, with one pass. And while this issue might not have the uh, sexiness of, of some others, uh, actually this is critically important. Democrats and Republicans in Washington actually agreed on something and gave the dozens of tolling agencies four years to reach what's called interoperability. In other words, they had to accept each other's toll passes. Some regional progress was made. Three states in the Midwest teamed up and three in the Southeast, as well as most of the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. But drive from New York to Florida to California and you'll need four different toll passes to cross between the regions. Not one state has fully complied with the law yet, nearly a decade after they were first given their orders. The technology exists. States can't send toll money across the country because they simply haven't yet signed agreements with each other to do it. Well, I'm just amazed at the number of people here who seem to be thinking only about themselves. But isn't there a lot more to it than that? We went to Washington to find out. Let's go to work. Transportation. Yeah, I've heard of that. Congressman John Garamendi voted to approve the law in 2012. He didn't remember the specifics and wasn't surprised it had been ignored. I'm so concerned for you <laughs> that you have this inconvenience. It's a congressional mandate that's been ignored for six years. It's not the only congressional mandate that is not paid attention to. The toll pass mandate didn't include any penalties for organizations that ignored it. It also didn't provide tolling authorities any spare change to create a universal transponder. So they didn't, and they're still not that close. We're getting close. Close is a relative term. We have achieved in large part regional interoperability. By next year, you'll be able to go from Maine to Florida uh, using your toll account. Pump the brakes. We've heard that before. Maine to Florida with one pass. They say this time is different. 
those more than 130 tolling authorities are finally starting to cooperate. I'm convinced that it won't take us um, another nine years uh, or anything like that. We also found the guy who wrote the original 2012 bill, former Congressman John Micah. But there is no reason in the world it shouldn't be interoperable by now. We're looking at a decade after, almost a decade after I passed the legislation. I've been gone for five years. Uh, my uh, message to my old colleagues is just get her done. <laughs> so it's up to Congress to pass another law with penalties for those who ignore it. It's just so like quintessentially American to have the federal government say one thing and then the state governments to say another thing and for there to be just complete lack of communication and cohesion that in the end affects us for the worst. Since you're upset, I'm gonna do everything I possibly can to ease the burden on you. We're fighting the good fight together here. <laughs> Indeed we will.